start of a good day when you come out of your hotel room and spot two falcons sitting right here outside your hotel room. But this is not a usual day. Today, our next stop is the Falcon Nationals, which is a hotel across the way that was booked up and we couldn't even get room there. So it's on our way to the Falcon Nationals 2022. Falcon Nationals today and we're going to take a quick walk through by each car and then take an in-depth pictures of each car. So here we go for 2022. Have you ever seen so many Falcons in one place? I'm just going to do one row at a time here and take, out, take in all these cars. How nice they are. How nice and beautiful they are. We're in Falcon Heaven. I guess I had an accident on the highway and died. And I didn't realize it, but must have because this looks like I went to Falcon Heaven. Oh, one's tucked in for the night. Must be tired. It's still sleeping. Some people like to sleep in. Oh, there's two people sleeping in today. Well, we gotta wake them up later and come back and see them. Yes, we do. Oh, look at the Sprint. Isn't she pretty? 1963. There's a lady with her pride and joy. Oh, there's more Falcons here, all right. Time to fill the brakes up. Is that your car? Very nice. Thank for, you. How long have you had it? I've had it for almost 11 years. Well, good for you. Yes, sir. Good for you. It's part of the family by now, right? Uh, yes. What's your name? name? What's your name? Uh, What's your name? Cream, Cream Puff? Cream Puff. Cream Puff, all right. <laughs> I knew it had to have a name. <laughs> oh, look at that convertible, isn't it nice? Nice customization on the 1960. Very nice. I like it. The purists won't, but I do. Some different tires on this one. Looks kind of nice. Big hood scoop. Yeah. Oh, I like them. They're all mixed together, it seems. I like this like this. Okay, I guess we do we have to walk all the way around or should we sneak sneak through? Oh wow. These cars are beautiful. Very pretty. I'd love to see each license plate, see how far they came, which we can do. It's a nice Falcon wagon. And these coming up is one of the Forgotten Falcons, 66 or 70, my favorites. I don't know why, but they are. Very nice. Here's another station wagon. Oh, I like this gunmetal color, very pretty. Oh. We've got a convertible and another convertible. Two convertibles in a row, make a wish. Ah, uh, here's a nice station wagon. Here we go. Oh, that's sad. Rest in peace. That's too bad. He's probably here somewhere. Oh, a 1967 Falcon. With it says a 351. 
Obviously it didn't come with it, but who cares? It probably runs real good. Yeah. Another beautiful convertible. Got the official hat on. Makes the day. And then we got another one here sleeping in. Oh well, we have to wake it up. Wake up, oh, wake up. Now we want to double A. I hear a falcon running. I hear a falcon running. Shh, quiet, still sleeping. Shh, shh, shh. Don't wake it up. Don't wake it up. And there's another wagon to check. Different stuff. Fix this up kind of cool. Yes, they did. Pretty unique too. Kind of different in their own ways. There's a two-door wagon and there's a four-door wagon. I don't know, in wagons I kinda of like four doors for easeability, but two doors are cooler looking, so you know you gotta take what you want. They take any of them. It's given to me, that's for sure. There's a sedan delivery. Or here we got a 1969 Falcon. Let's take a look around that one here, if we may. From 1969. Very nice. Very nice. I wonder where this guy's from. I am curious. I can't tell. And we got some more cars coming around the corner, folks. Coming around the corner. This is only half of them. Minnesota. Wow. Colorado. What do we got in the front here? From Pennsylvania. These cars come from all, all over. Look at that. And the guys are here setting up everything, getting everything ready for everybody coming. The guys that do all the work are so unappreciated. Appreciated. It takes a lot to put something like this together, a lot more than people think. It's not just driving and park. It's logistics, it's setting up hotel rooms, it's getting people coordinated, it's getting the word out. And with so many internet sites these days, it's hard to get the word out because there are so many different ones. But the Fountain Club of America is pretty big. They've been around for a long time. I think, I'm not sure, since 1979. But don't quote me on that because I'll get told different, maybe. Making our first run around. Take a look at all these beautiful cars. There we are. Look at all these cars, huh? I can't just stop here. I gotta get a little closer. I like this wagon. This wagon's got character. And look, it's from Tennessee. Wonder how close. Now, Tennessee's a mighty big state. Mighty nice people, too. This guy's kind of pretty, what I can see of it. I gotta respect covering it, though. That's probably what I would have done, too. Put our cars over at the hotel still. It'll be over here soon. My son drove it. We started out with two. We ended up with one. We got a 
bad lug nuts and I didn't want a chance to drive it this far in three. So we took one home. But we continued and we made it here. Even though the engine was running like a top, I didn't want the wheels to be spinning off like a top. Oh, there's a nice wagon. I like that. I like this car. I don't know why. It just jumps right out at you. I love the grill on this year. It just did a little bit better, I think. Oh, look at these gold wing doors. Whoa. I think that's factory. What do you think? But who cares? It's cool. <laughs> Hold these up, Donna. Honey? Yeah. That's what they're meant for. They're going to the back of that. Those wagons, these blinds. Yeah. Just turn the other way. Yeah, that's how they work. They fit it the most they get. The most they can. Measuring it up for me. She's a lot of help. She really is, but don't, I don't want to spoil her and tell her. And here we go, another falcon. See, we got a lot of dealers setting up. So, little by little, those guys will wake up and start setting up. A lot of the dealers are definitely older than the cars, but they know what they've got. Here we go, a few more Falcons. And I believe there's a 70 and a half Falcon down the end, which is a really a drastic design change. It's too bad it didn't last and progress after that. In this country, anyway. I think Ford should bring back the Falcon name, I really do. Hell, they brought back the Maverick name, they keep the Mustang name going. Even though the new Ma some of the Maverick owners are not too happy about the Maverick name on what came out for it, but that's for eat everybody's taste. Not for mine to judge. Here's a nice Ranchero with 289. Sprint? Yeah. Here we go. Nice station wagon. One that made the long journey over here on the back of a pickup truck, but hey, to each his own. Got to respect it. I probably get the long distance award. Just kidding. <laughs> now there is a different paint scheme on the 70 and a half coming up here, folks. We'll take you for a walk around it since it's such an odd car. There's not many of them around that I know of. Yeah, but it's a 70 and a half. 429 block, it says. Wow. I think probably moves. I know the price of gas these days. I know. You know what? Some of these cars, you drive them right, they don't do that bad. And this guy is from Tennessee, so he didn't have that far to go anyway. But here we go, folks. There'll be more cars coming in as the day goes by, and I hope I can get more of them filmed. But right now, I'm going to see if some of the swap meet areas set up and. Here comes one in now. And it is flying the flag. Watch those Falcons roll. Falcon Nationals. I'm going to see if there's any swap meet people set up and see what's going on here. Some people have stuff to set right in front of their cars. And here's some of the 
swap meet stuff dedicated to falcons there's a lot here to look at and a lot of treasures to find think i'll find some four bolt rims nope some more falcon parts Much more swap meet dealers than I've ever seen at a Falcon convention. And I think that is pretty darn cool that these guys come out and take all the work of hauling this stuff. Oh, you can't beat this name, folks. Two old parts Falcon parts. Last hurrah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, don't tell anybody, but I don't think, no, I'm not sure. But I don't think all these cars drove here on their own. I might be wrong, but it seems to be an abundance of car trailers here. Maybe they're from a car company to help people if they get stranded, but I, I kind of don't think so. But if you want to go on a trip and you want to buy stuff, you need something to haul them back with, so that's true too. I haven't seen many Falcons for sale here. There might be, I might have missed them, but I haven't seen many. Yeah, these car trailers go quite far, but I'm sure they're not here for any reason except just in case somebody breaks down. Oh, we got another row of them. Yeah, we got lots of car trailers here at the Falcon Nationals. Not to say they couldn't make it. Maybe they want to keep it off the highway for nicks and dents and chips and god and awful potholes that are everywhere these days. Looks like another Falcon just arrived. I bet, it's, I bet it's cooling down pretty quick. Well, that sounds good, huh? Let's see what's hiding over here. I don't think it'd be a bunch of trailers hauling cars to the Falcon Nationals, would it? No. Oh, oh my gosh, it is a few trailers here. Oh, but what's a few trailers when all these cars are here? Well, there's a couple more. Well, let's go around the corner here and see what we got yeah I don't think all of the cars drove themselves here no no I don't think so but hey they're here and to all the people that trailer their cars here thank you for bringing them it's not fun pulling a trailer a far distance whatsoever especially through these winding roads I salute you guys anyway and I thank you all hey, isn't that a cool trailer this ranchero on the side you gotta love it yeah, gotta love it. Pretty gotta wax them up. Everybody is making them shine today. Making them shine. These are beautiful.
a nice falcon the ears I like oh very pretty oh I think that light blue one I think its nickname is Nancy and I like that car very much since it is ours. It's a 69 with XR Australian grill and tail lights. We'll let you take a look at it. We have another one our year here. 67. Very nice. Somebody's been out in the sun a little longer than you thought. Well, that's a long wait sometimes. car's in the modified class. I think it's slightly modified. I don't think that's the original six. I am not sure. This thing can probably really move. It's got a nitrous in the back, a whole cage. Look at this car. Fuel cell. This car's made for racing. Isn't that ultimately cool, huh? Let's go look at the one over here that's got a cage in it too. What we were looking at coming off the trailer earlier. Take a look inside, huh? Now that's the kind of windshield all you needed on the trip you know, to get the bugs off of it. They just need a pair of goggles. This is Friday, the second day of the convention. And people are cleaning up their cars. It's still rather early in the morning, before 11 o'clock. And they're making them look good. Making them look good, making them stand out, making them shine. Yeah. There's a lot of empty spots, but there's sure a hell of a lot of full ones. This is a very big hotel. Hotel was sold out. We had to go in the overflow hotel. You know who that is, don't you? You know who that is. I think you here. This just showed up, uh, an Australian ute from 1987. Some of you don't see many of those around here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice, pretty. Yeah, this is a rare one in the United States. Pretty cool.